Hello dear friends, in this video I am going to tell you a short trick through which you will be able to find which of the following given fractions is the largest. We have lot of methods of finding the largest fraction like one method is to convert them into decimals and then you can find out. Second one is to take the LCM of the denominators and then uh, convert everything in the form of that LCM then you can find out but that method uh, and even the decimal method that will consume a lot of time so let us have a short trick for finding the largest fraction see I'll compare the first two I'll just tick right whichever is largest and then I will proceed with the method you will take only 3 to 4 seconds to find the largest fraction without converting them into decimal or taking the LCM. Now see the numerator of this fraction is 1. So this multiplied by the denominator here 8 will give you the product 8 and this numerator multiplied by this 6 will give you 18. So this numerator is giving a larger product on cross multiplying. So 3 into 6 is 18, 1 into 8 is 8. So the numerator which gives a larger product that fraction is the larger fraction. So out of 3 by 8 and 1 by 6 I can say orally that 3 by 8 is larger because 3 is giving a larger product on cross multiplication. So now this is omitted. Now let's see I'll write the procedure here for you. See 1 into 8 and 3 into 6. So I'm retaining 3 into 6. So 1 the fraction which has numerator 1 which is this is discarded because this is small. Now 3 by 8 and 2 by 7. See 3 into 7 and 2 into 8. So 3 into 7 is 21, 2 into 8 is 16. So 3 into 7 is giving a larger product, 2 into 8 is giving a smaller product. So 2 into 7 is discarded again. So we are retaining again the numerator which is 3. Now compare this and this. See 3 into 11, 33 and 5 into 8, 40. Now see 3 into 11, 33 is smaller and 5 into 8, 40 is larger. So I have to retain this. Numerator is 5. So again discard 3 by 8. So here you have the largest fraction 5 upon 11. I hope the method is clear. If it is not clear, then we can take one more question. Now see. 2 into 5 is 10 and 3 into 3 is 9. So this numerator is giving a smaller product and this numerator is giving a larger product. So this is greater, so this is smaller. So we discard this uh, 3 into 3 and uh, 3 by 5 is discarded and 2 by 3 is retained. So let's have comparison of 2 by 3 and 7 by 9 now. Now see 2 into 9, this is the uh, cross product of this and this is 7 into 3 which is larger 7 into 3 is larger but 2 into 9 is smaller so we have to retain the one which has a numerator 7 so let's discard this also now now finally 7 into 7 49 and 9 5 into 9 45 so 49 is greater and 45 is smaller so this numerator is giving a smaller product so discard this so here we have the largest fraction 7 upon 9 I hope the method is clear now and let's practice one more question of this kind. See compare these two 3 into 7 is 21 and 4 into 5 is 20. So 21 is greater than 20. So 4 this is discarded because this is giving a smaller product. So let's discard this. Now compare 3 by 5 and 8 by 9. 3 into 9 and 8 into 5. Now see this is 27 and this is 40. So this is giving a larger product. So this is to be discarded because 3 into 9 is smaller and finally 8 into 11 is 88 and 9 into 9 is 81. So 81 is smaller and 88 is larger so this numerator is giving larger product so discard this and we have 8 by 9 as the final answer. So you see finding the largest fraction can be as easy as this. So friends use this method in competitive exams I am sure you are going to save a lot of time and thereby ensuring success. So if you like this video do share it with all those who are preparing for competitions and especially with the small children who are beginning to learn fractions. And teachers please teach these kind of methods to the students from the beginning 
so that they are comfortable handling any type of competitive exam so if you have not done till now you can subscribe the channel and click the bell icon for notifications so that you don't miss out on any video uploads thanks for watching